Hey guys, welcome to Flight Top King. Hey, today we got a special one going on. Today is a classic poutine. We're gonna do it my way. You guys watch this. All right, so here's the deal. We had a friend from up north in Wisconsin um, send us a, a gift box and um, he sent us these awesome cheese curds from Wisconsin. And he promised, or I promised him that if I sent, if he sent the cheese curds, then I would do a fantastic poutine style. One thing of note, kind of like a, a caution to the wind, right? I'm not Canadian. I'm not Northern. I'm Southern. So I'm going to try my best. I've looked at a bunch of different recipes. Well, I'm going to put my twist on it and see if we can make something fantastic. Plus, I get a deep fry on the halo and I've been looking forward to it ever since I got it. All right. The first thing we got working is our oil. Okay, we just got some um, for some fry oil and a cast iron skillet. I've always cautioned people when you're deep frying on a griddle, you got to be careful. I'm looking at about 300 degrees, so it looks like we're going to get there pretty quick. That's going to be our flash fry for our fries. I got a little uh, sauce pot right here. We'll be able to make our gravy. And this, we have three russet potatoes that I have uh, hand cut and then uh, put in water to get the starch off, let it soak for a couple hours. And I'll just been draining it on a paper towel. These dish, are the, dish towel. Dish towel. Thank you. These are the cheese curds he sent. I've been snacking on them. I'm almost already full. <laughs> and then one of the recipes I went by said canned is just as good as anything else. And I thought, let's up the flavor. So we got a beef consomme and we got chicken. Some call for chicken, some call for beef, some call for both. And I think I'm right there in the, in the power alley of the idea for both. Okay. First things first, since the oil is ready and that kind of changes the way we're going, we're gonna do a two fry method. Fry it about 300 for five to eight minutes. Uh, we'll have to batch fry these because there's so many of them. And then we'll take them out, let them rest on a cooling rack, crank that temperature up a little bit more, and then finish flash frying them. You got it? Nope, don't know what any of that Good. means, but I trust you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, it's important to have your, fr your fries dry. The first batch is basically just to cook your french fries themselves. And then the second fry will be how we crisp up the fries. All right, five to eight minutes, like we said. Remember, you're not looking to get color, you're just looking to cook these things through. Just like what we talk about when you add food to the griddle, that you absorb a lot of, you take away a lot of the heat because of the temperature change. Same thing with these french fries. So after you, if you have to do multiple steps, you need to wait a couple minutes, get a good thermometer and make sure your, your fry, your uh, oil comes back up to temp. Uh, it dropped down to about 250. It doesn't take long um, to come back up. I'll show you. So it's just like the idea, like when I when I like to flip something, I like to flip it in a new spot. That new spot's hotter. You could add more oil. That way both sides get like equal treatment. Uh, same thing with the oil. If your french fries go in there at 300 degrees on your first batch, you want to make sure your second batch is the same thing. I just got some butter melting right now. We're about to start our sauce. About how much butter? That's five tablespoons. That's a quarter cup of flour. I'm not looking to get color on it, but I do want to cook that flour taste out. I've got it kind of like, if you notice, uh, my griddle is uh, on high and high, off and off. So I'm just using that residual heat over here to be able to cook this. The more you move it over, the hotter it gets, just like in zone cooking. So I'm gonna let this rest on the side. Just let this come up to temperature, make sure you stir it often, and then we'll check for seasonings after it's come up to its full thickening power. All right, we've come up to the rolling boil. As you can see, it's not as uh, thick as I would like. I've tasted it. I wanna add a little pepper to mine. Remember those curds have some salt content as well, plus you're gonna season the fries when they come out, so I'll just be weary of how much you have this uh, salted. And then right here for the finishing touch, I just have a simple solution. It's called a slurry. It's corn, starch, and water. Um, that's the kind of consistency you want. Just enough to release the starch and suspend it in the water. Not too much. Little goes a long ways. I'll show you how fast it happens. Can you see the ribbons in the gravy now? So I'll probably say just one more. Cause I want this, I don't want this to be a, um, a chowder, 
right? I want, or a sauce. I want this to be like right in the middle. Enough to coat the fries, but not enough to be like a thick soup. Right there, I'm kind of, I think I'm happy with that right there. Just to show you the consistency we're looking for. See how it hangs on to the back of the spoon. See that? And we're gonna keep it on the heat as well, so it might reduce a little bit on the heat. Let me move it off the heat just a hair so we don't burn the bottom. So we're getting there, a couple more minutes. The griddle's still on high. Uh, each griddle is gonna have a different um, uh, heating capacity. We all know that the Halo has a very, very high-end heat. Um, been hovering around 500 degrees easily, which is a good temp. Um, I think since the burners are a little bit wider and it covers a little bit more surface area, this is one of the highlights of the griddle that I've been wanting to see is because it has so such unique burner configurations and the griddle plate itself is so thick that you're allowed to recuperate a lot of heat faster. And I think that's perfect for a method like this. Not every griddle I would recommend doing it. Can you get away with it? Yes, but it's, the, it's how fast it recoups the heat that's important. And uh, this is doing a fantastic job. All right, second batch going in. Our first batch, second time. So now this is where you're looking for color and for texture. You can see that we're already getting some color on these fries. See our gravy right here? See those nice simmer boils? That's what you're looking for. That's how you know your gravy has come up to the full thickening power, right? So we're gonna move it off just a little bit more. I don't wanna reduce that much. And keep stirring it. You don't want that bottle to get burnt. As you can see, the first batch is coming out. And uh, that's the golden brown that you're looking for. While that is heating back up, immediately, and I mean immediately, we have a bowl here. I just had it warmed up on the opposite side of the griddle. Hit it with some good seasoning. I told you all the time, tell you all the time, I like to shake that on fries. Something like that. Take that ladled gravy. Nice handful of curds while that gravy's hot. In a good warm cast iron dish. That way it kind of melts that cheese together as well. Mm. Second batch of fries are coming out. We let them cook a little bit longer. All right, as soon as those fries come out, you want to get them seasoned. The first batch, we did shake that. This batch, I'm just going to do some salt. That's a good sound. The first batch, we left the cheese curds large. After tasting it, we thought maybe we should dice them up just a little bit to add more to the mix. It's the same amount, but you just get more little pieces here and there. Don't kill me if that's wrong. <laughs> I do know that the flavor is there. I can understand why you would like it. Right in that hot cast iron, kind of keeps that heat up, melts the cheese a little bit. Just like that. Mm. Now it could be the south in me, but I'm gonna top it off a little pepper. And there you go. There's my take. Woo, that mother's hot. On poutine. I don't know if this, I don't know if this is acceptable. Cause I'm torn between whether or not I like the soggy fries. But if you're gonna go soggy versus crispy, you gotta get that gravy. That gravy is key. I don't know how off I am on my recipe. I just know I can understand the love. I really can. I can understand it. it it is good, actually. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it pulls you in multiple directions. 
Mm. <laughs> okay, give me another bite. We've been eating that one. <laughs> I definitely think cutting up the cheese was a bright idea. I don't know if it's right in your guys' eyes, mm. Mm. but you do get more of the cheese scattered throughout. Uh, I think that's the point, right? Uh, mm. Hang on, let me finish through them. I know we use canned gravy versus home, like home style gravy or whatever box. I don't know. Some recipes called for it. Some people, some people said they recommended it. I think the final product speaks for itself. It's fantastic. Thank you so much to our friend for sending us all the fantastic Wisconsin cheese. Mm. I mean, hot sauce? Like, I don't, I don't even miss the hot like, I, I want the hot I, you I don't like, think it needs the hot sauce. I don't sauce. even think it does. It's good. Hot sauce goes on fries. It's it's good. Mm. Mm. I, I mean, that, it is dang flavorful. Truth be told, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. It is. On a Sunday, and we're making poutine. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> mm. Worth it. It's, I think it's the combination of everything. It's mm -hmm. the crispiness of the fries. You got to get them off and you got to get it going right away. Don't let this stuff sit around. Um, the fries I'll, are fantastic. Switching up the um, the cheese and making them smaller adds more volume. Like even though it's the same amount, you get more bites per. Um, be careful on your seasonings because your seasonings can. I, I think my seasoning was fine. I don't I think, think there's was any great. difference. Yeah. I think it was great. But just be careful on your fry seasoning because that cheese is salty. And you can change the flavor in a hurry because of the gravy. I think it's great. I really appreciate it. I really love this. It's something new. I've never made it before. And that's what really draws my passion. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out at The Girdle Group on Facebook, where we talk about items. Poutine comes up. And I'm honestly, I'm just, just happy to make it something different. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. It's... Where's my fork? I don't know. You like your, it? Your daughter stole it. You even like it? Yeah. My youngest daughter approves. That's weird. That is weird. <laughs>